Okay then. Um, <clears throat> Octopath Traveller. I have been mucking around for a little, little bit of fun. Um, I'm a speedrunner, obviously. And I've just been playing this game a lot, this demo for a lot, and um, I've been, after doing like everything in the two, well, as much as I can so far, I will, there's more to find, I think, uh, of the uh, demos, I've been mucking around kind of um, rooting and speedrunning the prologues of the, t of the two, uh, mainly focusing on Alberic um, and what I can do with him, and as you can see... Um, managed to get it down to 15 minutes and 43 seconds. Um, it's not bad. I haven't tried Primrose yet. I will perhaps give her a go at some point. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to be going through the strats. See if I, can, I think we can get this below 15.30. I'll de 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 definitely try to get that. But I will see how it goes. There's a lot, a lot of mashing. Um, and then there's like five main fights. But it's quite cool. Let's have a go. Oh, no. Nope. What am I doing? We start timer from saying yes until uh, it says thank you for playing. So, with that in mind, three, two, one. So, eight years ago, um, Olberic Eisenberg was a, a knight, and uh, during this kind of war, um, he was, you know, fighting against the enemy, and then he's trying to protect his, his king, um, then he goes to protect his king as best he can, and uh, off, he, off he goes and finds it's not quite how it should be. He's not quite sure, because his friend, um, Earhart, Sir Earhart, um, was looking after the king. And it turns out that his friend Erhard had actually betrayed the kingdom and the king. Sad face. Um, so just brutally murders him with, without even, hes even hesitating. Most games would hesitate, won't they? There'd be a whole kind of like conversation about it, but no, Erhard just finishes the job and then, get, and then gets on with it. Brothers and ah. Whew. It was all a dream. All that same dream. Cribbins. Good old and Philip. That. If yes. Okay, so we're going to be using. We, what we need to do is we need to use Alberic's personal path skill, which is challenge, to train the uh, watch of Cobblestone.
Tonight is a good day for battle. With each battle, I grow stronger. Lost some time on mashing overall, really. It just Use that to break the first guy. Break him down and then finish him all off. Let's go. Hold. What? I will save the lad. Okay, so that's the basic strategy for the bandit what? fights. I used to do um, attack on the one bandit and then double level slash. However, doing level slash and then attack and then level slash basically means that only one attack comes out from the bandits rather than three. So, yeah. I wasn't sure if I could kill before. That's why I didn't do it in the past. But I realized that you can kill um, without breaking the uh, two regular uh. bandits or brigands. Um, so, yeah. We get one fight on the way up. Uh, hopefully it's a fight that I don't get outturned. So there are two enemies, birds and blue cowled uh, rats that uh, can, get, can out, out, outturn you. But regular rats I outturn. And the sheep thing. Two blue cowled rats. I'm going to get double turned. That's time loss. Now I need to pay attention here. If I don't get a uh, fire soul stone, I'm going to go pick it up in that chest, which is a bit of extra time. But um, the fire soul stone is really good for this next boss, basically. Okay. Let us fight with honor. Cool. 
down they go. Healing great. Not helpful, but whatever. Getting a sub nine bandits too is nice, but it's because I got outturned by the rats, I uh, I lose a lot of time. Okay, so I've added a bit of time to this because I didn't get the fire soul stone. If you do get lucky, then you get lucky, which is nice. Um, I'll get one more fight in here again. Blue cowled bats, um, blue cowled rats will outturn me. Regular ban uh, brigand and um, the bat won't. Bat. Now there's the argument about going for level three, um, which allows you to uh, when you do the use the um, second or the third level slash. In this in this fight, basically there are two brigands with two break points. I'm going to use double level slash to uh, break them and then use a blue, okay, so a max boost level slash. With, at level 3 you finish them off, at level, two, at level 2 you don't. So this is why I get the fire soul stone. So you don't need to get the level, um, but that still does really, really good damage. Um, to the, it, it finishes them off, but also it deals good damage to Gaston as well. Um, so if I, do, if I do a really good maximum abide and then... Um, uh, break Gaston, I can um, basically uh, kill him really quickly. Like I look. So, level slash. Weakens them. Tank these hits. Do it again. Double break. So only one turn now from them. Now I'm going to use a maximum boost. Level slash, which will not kill the. Oh, it killed one. Good damage rolls. Okay, that's interesting. That's very, I didn't know that damage rolls could do that. That's fine. Fire soul stone. Deals good damage to um, everyone. Okay, let's go for the healing grade. How about this? How about you? So um, a regular um, a regular attack from the spear would actually just do um, 30 damage. So there's Bide. Okay. How about this? Run out of, I, knew, I knew I was going to run out of that, which is fine. Um, I wanted to just get rid of the bide, so I didn't need to worry about healing. Okay, I should be able, able to finish him off here. 59 is good, so I want to go... Maximum abide. And I want to attack. And now I'm going to finish him off with Flurry. Ah, it was good, but it could have been better. That could have been the sub 1530, actually. I had to break him early because I didn't have enough, um, because I didn't have, uh, I didn't need to break him early the first time. Um, I think going for a break like that and then using that turn to heal yourself up nice and clean and then going in for the second bit is the right strat, no. basically. Um, But yeah, if you get the, uh, if you don't get an extra, um, 
if you, if you don't get bodied by bandits too, and then if you get the soul stone drop, you can probably just go for that. Or maybe you don't need it. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> There we go. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen thirty-one. It could be done. It could be dubbed sub sub fifteen thirty-one. Uh, sub sub fifteen thirty, I think for sure. I mean, you can tell clearly. I I lost some time, but but yeah, there you go. The um, intro, the prologue, done very very quickly. A couple of mistakes, but not bad. I, what what this is about is just like. Things like that are what really make them um, speedrunning first of all exciting. Um, I've never actually kind of like rooted a game from the word go, so doing something, something, something like this is quite interesting for me. Um, but I'm looking forward to playing this game fully, and I will play it and 100, probably try my best to 100% it, obviously, before I start anything like speedrunning it. But um, it's got a, it's got a really interesting future, I think, considering with there's only one character and there are so many. But it, this, this game's got an interesting future. Um, and I can't wait to see more. So, see you guys around.